Good morning, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kiara, and today is grocery day. So before I got my shopping started, I was really craving some fresh juice. So I stopped at Nectar to get me a fresh juice. Has a whole lot of benefits in it. And I was just looking for something that would just feel good and replenish my body. So I got the recovery drink. Okay, so I got the recovery juice. And it is beet juice, green apple, ginger. I had pineapple in mine because if you ever had beet juice, then you know how beet juice be. But this is the juice. Once I get my juice, I head to Sprouts. Now, out of all of the grocery stores that I shop at, Sprouts is really the main one. So I spend most of my time here. If I'm going to any other grocery store, it's really because there's other one-off items in other stores that I do enjoy as well. So when I get to Sprouts, one of the things that I needed to re-up on is something called Carbo Vegetabilis. And this is something that my naturopathic doctor told me about. It is basically a homeopathic medicine made from activated charcoal that helps with abdominal bloating and gas and things like that. Next on the list, I'm going to be showing you a few of my favorite things to snack on. First up are activated pumpkin seeds. These are really so good for you. I like to just snack on them, you know, by the handful, but also adding them to cereals and things like that. Next up is JoJo's dark chocolate covered pretzels. These are gluten free, but they do have three grams of sugar. So if you are completely avoiding cane sugar, you might not want to grab that. Me personally, I do avoid cane sugar, but if I do have it, I have no more than like seven or eight grams of it. And as you saw, they only have three grams of sugar per serving. So do keep in mind that if you are trying to cut cane sugar, that's a good way to do it just by having snacks that are not loaded with, you know, a bunch of grams of sugar. Next up, you know, I got to stop in the chip aisle to get my favorite chips. I probably share these with y'all in every single video. That's just how good they are. Made with avocado oil. They have a lot of different flavors. They're really good. Yes, I got two bags. Don't be judging me. Moving on. Next up are these popsicles. These are gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. It's heating up in Arizona, so I just wanted to try something new, so I added those to the cart. And now we're moving on to the kind of miscellaneous. So I added some cacao powder. I like to add this to chocolate smoothies or when I'm making something or baking. It's really, really good for that. And if you didn't know, cacao powder has so many benefits. I mean, it's an antioxidant. It is a superfood, just an all around good thing to add to your grocery list. The next thing I like to buy is water. My water of choice is always going to be spring water. So you won't see me drinking anything else besides that, unless I'm in a situation where I can't buy anything else and that's all they're offering um because spring water is really king okay moving right along this is char's ciabatta bread it is gluten free they do have a whole line of other breads the ciabatta bread just happens to be my favorite in fact i have a pulled chicken barbecue slider recipe using those if you want to see that recipe go ahead and drop a little um chef emoji in the comments Next on the list is Shara's Pizza Crust. It is gluten-free. If you've been following me, then you've already seen my videos on how I like to make my gluten-free and dairy-free pizzas. If not, just go ahead and scroll through. You will see them, and I'll tell you right now, I'm sure that you will love them, and they're probably not what you expect from a gluten-free and dairy-free pizza. Next up, we got this umami joy sauce. It is a soy sauce alternative. It is gluten-free with no soy, no wheat. Love to use this when I am making something Asian inspired like stir fry noodles or something like a sweet teriyaki chicken or shrimp, just something really good and savory. Definitely got to add some tuna. This right here is such a great source of protein. When I first got into the gym and I was focused on fat loss, I definitely used a lot of tuna. I also needed to get some more avocado oil spray. Love this from when I am making something quick in the air fryer or throwing some potatoes in the oven or something simple like that. 
definitely got to throw some backyard barbecue sauce in the cart. Listen, if you have not already tried this, it's really good. And it's especially good for if you're trying to cut back on your cane sugar. There is no cane sugar added to this. They use natural sweeteners for that. Minimally processed. So I'm super pleased with that product. And is it even really a true grocery shopping experience if some random man doesn't come up to you trying to have conversation? I mean, just listen. For um, Easter, it's but it's far today. from, but it's far from where I live, and so I just was like, that's a long. It was about Tomorrow. thirty minutes. Well, that's the long right here. Tomorrow's our hundred second anniversary. Oh yeah. And uh, it's Pentecostal Sunday too, so. Okay. Um, we got a guest speaker coming in here. Who is that? I forget his name. I uh, no, I mean, you know what? You don't forgot the man name. No, because that ain't my job. What? It's not your job. <laughs> not my job. Yeah. Uh, it's funny, too, because I'll be talking to people and they tell me that uh, to get in the pilgrim. Baby, I couldn't do nothing but laugh, but then I had to get my real content. So what I was trying to show y'all <laughs> was this puffed corn cereal. This is the one that I made the recipe for, for when I make my breakfast cereal. I also picked up some milked walnuts. This is just plant milk. I love it because the ingredients are so simple, just walnuts and water. And then I also love to get their peanut butter. It's like $2.50. So super affordable compared to like Trader Joe's. I think it's like $4 and up or something like that like that also this is where i get my gluten-free pancake mix and like i mentioned earlier this does have um a little bit of cane sugar within it so if you are avoiding cane sugar just keep that in mind okay next on my list is organic date sugar i have been using this for a while i love to use it it's what i have replaced regular cane sugar with i also get me some flax seeds i use this as an egg replacement so you can use the flax seed themselves boil them in some water or you could just buy flax seed meal and let that sit in warm water until it gets a little bit gelatinous and then use it as your egg replacement i've talked about before how it's really important to use whole flours like brown rice flour when you are living a gluten-free life mainly because it's usually only one ingredient as opposed to other flours with a bunch of different ingredients that are highly processed and possibly gluten containing i'm also going to add some blue agave to my cart this is also a good replacement for cane sugar I'm going to be adding some ripple milk. They do have chocolate, they do have vanilla as well. I just get the unsweetened kind. Um, I do actually like this milk. And then I get some vegan butter. I use Earth Balance brand. I have not been disappointed since using it. Definitely gonna add some pineapple chunks frozen for smoothie days. Some spring mix salad, some bananas. I'm going to also throw some organic sweet potatoes to the cart. These are a staple and have been a staple in my journey. And I'm going to get some broccolini. People ask me where do I get broccolini from Sprouts or Trader Joe's. You don't find this at other grocery stores. I'm going to add some chicken breast and some chicken wings. And then I'm also going to be adding some ground turkey. Listen, these are all staples for me. Some little cuties for when I want to snack at my desk at work. And some seeded grapes. And I'm also going to be adding some dark chocolate bites. These are not made with cane sugar. And I love to add these to my cookies. And these are some frozen fire roasted sweet potatoes uh, for the days that I don't feel like cutting up no potato chow. And some black beans for when I want to make my black bean brownies or like a black bean quesadilla. Okay, and you see the bag? Do you see the shopping bag? It says gluten-free, okay? And then the other one says ain't no gluten in this bag, okay? If you want to get bags just like this, they are reusable. They're cute. They're stylish. Um, they are linked. So if you just click the little shop button, it'll take you right to the online store so that you can make your purchases. There are other things on there as well that you could buy. Um, aprons, mugs, things like that. Just, you know, for the gluten-free girlies out there, you know, I can't be leaving my girls out, but I love them. I think they're so cute. Next stop, Trader Joe's. One thing about me, after I finished doing some shopping, touching on the carts, uh, the man wanted to shake my hand, child, all kind of stuff. 
make sure after you leave the grocery store you put on some hand sanitizer you know how you pull into your destination and you just sit in the car baby i'm already tired so trader joe's has some items that are truly some of my favorite things that i just cannot go without so i'm going to be sharing with you what those things are so we got some blue corn tortilla chips i'm going to get some melon i absolutely love cantaloupe i love to buy their potatoes i'm also going to get some more pineapple juice because a lot of their juices are clean it's just that juice alone without extra additives or preservatives so i like to buy juices from here and I'm adding some soy chorizo to the cart. I started eating this mainly when I started training because it was one of the recipes that my trainer shared with me. So if you want to know how I make my breakfast burritos or breakfast tacos with soy chorizo, um, let me know in the comments. We're going to be adding some gluten-free waffles, some jasmine rice. It's super convenient for the days that you don't want to actually cook rice, okay? Adding some frozen salmon and some red lentil pasta, which is gluten-free. If you're just now starting out on this journey, there is a way to do this and not break the bank, right? And I think that that's a misconception that you have to break the bank when you are doing gluten-free shopping or vegan shopping or whatnot. Maybe my next video will be about how to uh, do this on a budget, you know? Like I said, this is like, I've been doing this for over a year now, and so the challenges that I faced initially are not the same challenges that I face with it today. If you're transitioning, just know you're not going to um, automatically like the new things. It's because you have a palate for, you know, oversaturated and super sugary and extra salty um, things. And so it's not going to tickle your fancy the way that you think it's going to. But everything requires an adjustment. Your relationships require an adjustment. Your career requires adjustments. Every time you get promoted or every time you reach a new level, that blazer is nice. Every time you reach a new level in life, it comes with you having to reshape and remold yourself. Your desires, your taste buds, um, your standards. And we can't always be comfortable being stuck in a place that is no good for us. And this is a word for somebody, okay? Don't fear the fact that things have to change. Fear staying the same, period. You can't make a conscious decision to do something differently, but you still want it to have the same attributes as um, the past. Thanks so much for tuning in to my grocery haul today. Just keep in mind that this is the majority of the things that I buy and not all inclusive. So if you want to see a little bit more, there is more content that I could upload for you. Just let me know in the comments. If you have specific questions, let me know. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe.